Greetings, everyone. Thanks for coming to the party. And maybe you've seen in the back that if you stay all the way to the end, there will be cake and punch. Oh. <laughs> I should clarify one thing about the program here. You, you might get the wrong impression from the writing, since there's not a separate caption on the photographs that this was a, a picture of Schumann, but it's not. This is the young Brahms, probably around the time that he met Schumann, and then this is the older Brahms, when he was near the end of his life, fulfilling his friendship with Clara. So, we will begin with a, a short greeting from Robert Schumann. <coughs> to try to describe the music of Johannes Brahms, I think my one word description would be elegant. I think he was a real master of lush chromatic harmony, the very pinnacle of the late 19th century. Um, these first two pieces, these intermezzos, happen to be in the same key. It will work very nicely for me to just go directly from one to the other and then take applause.
Charles Schumann's piece here is perhaps a little more straightforward in the way it's composed, uh, certainly in the Romantic tradition, not as complex harmonically as Brahms, but it's a piece I really love, great melodies. Brahms seldom gave his pieces any titles that had any suggestion of bees or butterflies or ocean waves or even pretty girls. It was mostly just pure music for its own sake. There is one exception in this set of intermezzos. The E flat major is uh, a reference to an old Scottish lullaby and you can hear a, a lullaby-like tune in it, very simple. And the words, presumably 
from Scottish to German to English, a rough approximation. Sleep well, my child, in safety and peace. It pains me much to see you cry. <laughs> And this pair, again, both being in flat keys, will go very nicely from one to the other.
A little different flavor from Antonin Dvorak. <laughs>